Shares of GameStop plummeting this morning. The company fired CEO Matt Furlong and named Ryan Cohen as executive chairman. The announcement came the same day that it reported a drop in revenue and narrowing losses in its fiscal first quarter. Cohen, founder of Chewy, joined GameStop's board in January 2021, the same month that saw the company's stock surge to an all-time high. Cohen quickly became a luminary for the meme stock craze. His cryptic tweets have been tracked and deciphered on Reddit forums. In a cryptic tweet sent half an hour after Furlong was fired, Cohen wrote, not for long. We're joined by Yahoo Finance's executive editor, Brian I mean, It Sazier. wasn't that cryptic. It was a play on Furlong. It yeah. was a play on Furlong. It wasn't for long. <laughs> sure, it wasn't. But at the end of the day, I mean, we've, we've seen, of course, the from the meme stock craze all the way to how they've tried to reposition the company as a more digital sales focused versus the brick and mortar, which has been slumping and a challenge for retail across the board. Uh, and at the same time, you're not really hearing from executives. There was no conference call after these earnings dropped last no night. No conference call. And uh, what we did hear under Furlong, under his, uh, I would say, uh, brief tenure, is about, at longest, an eight-minute earnings call. So he was not a big believer in earnings calls either. But the story here is this, and we're not going to be able to fit it all into two minutes saying so I will just come out and say it. You, Ryan Cohen has been uh, basically a complete failure uh, as a board member and as an executive at GameStop through and through. Stock price down 58% since she got, in that, got involved in terms of a chairman in the chairman position in June 2021. This is a board that is completely controlled by Cohen and various other people. And we have a graphic set up uh, for that. Various leaders that he worked with at Chewy, he put them on the board. You have Cohen up there, of course, leading the charge here. Those are some of the executives on the screen right now that have been tasked with trying to save and turn around this com company. Complete, utter failure. Now, they came out here. They tried to get into the digital asset marketplace. Failure. They have come out and tried to open up new warehouse distribution centers to improve fulfillment. Failure. They are now closing facilities. You have failure in terms of the first quarter here. Sales down 10.3% year over year. You have software sales plunging. Their big initiative in terms of selling more collectibles or for little figurines that usually sell for about $5 uh, in the stores. Failure. Those sales down in the most recent quarter. So through and through, this has been a horribly run company under Ryan Cohen. And I go back to 2019. Ryan Cohen was in this studio, Yahoo Finance Studio, 770 Broadway, New York City, talking about the Chewy IPO and some of the initiatives he stood up at the company. And I think it's a playbook he has tried to run at GameStop, again, with complete failure. Take a listen to what he told us in 2019. The strategy from the beginning is really replicating the experience I had in the neighborhood pet store, but doing it online and doing it at scale. And so, you know, doing those small things like the handwritten holiday cards and the flowers and the pet portraits, really showing our customers we care about them, we care about them, we care about their pets, and we never want them to dream of shopping anywhere else for their pet products. And so pet customers are fanatical. That's the ecosystem that we've built. That's really the foundation and the soul of the company. And that right there is the face of failure uh, in GameStop. And he uh, has not, I think, uh, he has not communicated with investors. He has not earned the trust of these investors, these everyday average investors that have put their, in many cases, their life savings into a company uh, that they still think to this day, despite the stock price being way down under Cohen, thinking they're going to turn around. It's not going to happen. There is unlikely any turnaround at this company. And you cannot cut costs, close stores, and think you're going to be a successful retailer over time. They operate about over 4,000 stores around the world. And as long as they have that amount of stores, that amount of operating leases on the books, you are not turning this company around. It's that simple. At one time, none of this would have mattered. Mm -hmm. At one GameStop time, none of this, doesn't matter, Julie. At none, of, at none of this, at one time, none of this did matter yeah. to the people who were buying the shares. Mm -hmm. What you're saying, because they, it, it was really a faith story, right? Um, and I think this morning's reaction in the shares illustrate that it is no longer a faith story. The fact that the shares are selling off, the fact that the one-time fans of the company, maybe they're still fans, maybe they're still out there, but they're being overwhelmed by people who are selling these shares. And I just want to mention as well um, the short picture here, because that was such an important part of the picture early right. on when the narrative was this was the small, mighty um, investors, retail investors who were fighting against the big bad hedge funds who were shorting the stock. And there were showing the short interest ratio in purple there versus the stock price um, in, in blue. We got some fresh data this morning from Ihor Dusanuski over at S3 Partners who tracks Great short work. interest. Short interest in the stock now at about one and a half billion dollars. That's about 22 percent of float, which is quite high. Um, but he says the stock borrow utilization is over 95 percent. So most of the available borrow in, G in GameStop has already been taken down. So there's 
in other words, the stock is so shorted that there's not a lot of shares left right. available to short right. because people are shorting this so heavily, but you're not seeing the squeeze that you once were. Well, I would argue that there were never really any fans of GameStop even throughout that short squeeze. It was people who were hating against the big player out there, the institutional investor that had millions, billions of dollars to throw around in short positions and could do so knowing that they had much more weight. However, they fell asleep at the wheel and that's when a lot of the fanfare that emerged from the Reddit retail trading frenzy, whatever you want to call it, when that emerged as an opportunity to go directly up against the higher power or the big man on Wall Street, if you will. Yeah, I'll have more to say uh, in tomorrow's morning brief because I'm going to continue discussion uh, in our newsletter tomorrow morning. But bottom line is this, you're seeing the stock price reaction, and you're right to call it out, Julie, a, a complete, I think, finally, the loss of confidence in Ryan Cohen being this operational magician that he's going to come in here and save GameStop. This is a structurally challenged market that GameStop is operating in. There is no real reason for me to go into these stores and buy anything. That is a completely different case than Chewy. If I buy a pet, I need to feed the damn pet. It's a totally different case than GameStop. And I know a lot of these, these lovers out there in GameStop are going to, to rip me to shreds on Twitter. They continue to do it. I am curious on, on why you continue to have confidence in Ryan Cohen. You're probably sitting on a lot of losses. Uh, look at the sales declines of this company. Go back over last year's 10K. You can see this is a very fundamentally challenged and problem company. Bottom line is this, Ryan Cohen does not deserve your trust. And I think it's time we hear from him. It's time for him to get out of the shadows and start speaking to investors and taking it seriously. He's tweeting. No. Not seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, Saz, as always, fiery on the Thanks Sunday for having me on the show. It's really great to be here. Thanks. Thanks, Thank you so much. thanks for coming on. I hope you don't get too much hate mail. Eh. Bring All it right. on. <laughs>